you saw the title. You, you know what it is, man. ATL dominating, okay? Dominating the Tekken 8 CNT. All right, I'm not having any issues. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Mike ATL uh, from the TKN house. I'm back with another video. Uh, make sure that, get this thing right on out the way. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Hold on, I got a little, little thing on my forehead. There we go. Let's take this thing back from the top, all right? We're going to take it back from the top, all right? It's your boy Mike ATL once again. Uh, glad to have you all here with me we are going to be looking at some matches from uh my gameplay experience here with king uh if you would like and subscribe okay tell your friends about it tell them to come subscribe too all right we're trying to get this thing on up to a thousand so we can get monetized so then we can start paying people to do editing so then i can get you more videos out because when i gotta edit it myself y'all only getting these shits when i get off of work and i still got a stream you know, it's a lot going on, but we're going to make it happen, all right? But bump all that. Let's get into the meat of what we got going on. Today, I'm going to be doing uh, a little analysis on some of the characters that I came across, uh, how I dealt with them, uh, what weaknesses and strengths I saw in each character and some of the system changes, and how it affected the gameplay and the matchups between at least King and some of these characters. So we're going to get right into it. First one we're going to have is Law. Um law versus king well Round when one. i played law played against law i noticed that he was really strong when you try to put him into when you let him get in the heat so my whole entire game plan was to try to keep him from doing things that would allow heat to come out without him just cutting it on and having half a bar uh that three plus four into the four actually I found out that you have to like duck it for a long period of time to punish if you try to stand up prematurely you know thinking that oh it whipped I'm going to go ahead and punish it it seems to have a lot of active frames uh, so so much so that uh, it's almost it's almost like you can't punish the junk unless you almost let them recover you know kind of reminds me of how uh, backlash was with uh, Haram. It's not nearly as bad because you can punish it, but you just have to take the time, be cognizant, stay down there. Uh, he still is pretty susceptible to step. Um, you know, you can't really cheat it like you used to be able to cheat it, but because of your ability to just walk so much stuff. It's a lot easier to deal with some of that pressure. Uh, he also has to commit to some stuff uh, a lot more. And like I said before, I think the name of this game is Committal. Like, they just want you to commit to things. Um, like you saw there, it's very easy. The sidewalking is very, very useful in this game. Uh, I don't know if they're going to keep the system like that, but it's definitely one of the better defensive tools that I saw being used. Um, another thing I noticed about Law, you know, you got to make sure that you can keep them out of these stances. Um, a lot of these players, they're wild because they know that they have the speed on their side. They know they have a lot of uh, quick moves that they can get to, a lot of scenarios where they can typically uh, keep you in pressure. It makes it that much better for them, especially when they get into to heat, because then it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, one, 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 one. You know, they're doing down four, one, side step, down four, one, down back three, down three, four. Uh, I mean, down four, three, you know, just all kinds of mix ups. So you want to be very cognizant of that. Now, when we talk about other mix up characters, we're going to talk about this boy Jack, right? Jack, very different than what he used to be. Uh, still can still play his essential same game of, you know, poking and fundamentals. 
But with that new stance that he has uh, and transitions into the stance from so many moves, it's really a whole lot of attack, no attack uh, situation. You know? uh, I found that you know, it's, you're going to really need to be on them, but you can't really be on them like you want to be on them. So it kind of poses like a kind of double threat. Meanwhile, his game plan has veered more towards frames and, you know, making it where you want to not move. So I give him a lot of tools to keep you in place so he can do the things that he wants to do. Um, still kind of take a lot of risk in order to try to get the, the best out of what he wants. So that sometimes can be a uh, can be kind of an issue for him. Uh, but for the most part, he pretty much is kind of himself, but a little stronger than what he used to be, uh, which can be can be kind of an issue if you haven't fought against a very strong Jack in your life. Uh, I can tell you, it can be quite a problem. You know, play against some of the best Jack players. Uh, in the T7 series, ever since maybe T6, maybe even T5, uh, when Arario was playing Jack. Uh, I played some of the best Jack players across many of the Tekken. Jack's game plan is still there. He's still the character that you know and love if you are a Jack player. Uh, if you have a defense that you've built up against Jack, it's still pretty much going to work. Uh, but he does have some new things to look out for. Um, next up we have Jin and one of the things I learned about playing Jin is that he doesn't seem to be as strong in the neutral as he once was uh, it could have been the people I was playing but it seemed like it wasn't so difficult uh, to really play around his core mechanics you know um, he did seem to have a lot of access to a lot of combo starters and a lot of new moves but I'm not sure if it is the game itself uh, or you know if the net code made it where it's been so long since I played somebody offline but it was very easy to react to things like even moves that I hadn't seen that often or you know that were new it was like oh it's very easy to see what's going on here like you're really going to have to trick me or outplay me, outwit me. Uh, it didn't seem like a lot of I'm going to be stuck in place trying to deal with your pokes, not going to be able to see what's going on. Uh, that was very, very interesting uh, when it came to not just playing Jin, but all of the cast. Uh, I saw that side walking and side stepping uh, to your right, his left, still seemed to be pretty effective uh, got me out the way of a lot of his moves down forward one does seem to have better tracking two one seems to have better tracking uh, as well as trying to like cheat the sidewalk the sidestep I think I mentioned this in another video but uh, it's much more difficult to like cheat with your movement it's like you have to actually choose to do what you need to do. Also, out of his stance, uh, the Omen stance, pretty strong when he's in heat. It uh, can hit on the ground, as you all saw. It puts you in frame disadvantage. It gives him his Devil Gen mix-ups. So he gets a Devil Gen Electric, Devil Gen Hell Sweep, Uppercut. You know, uh, if you saw that right there, that was that setup I do with King off the down forward 2-1 definitely a uh, something to be looked into because if that thing is working they just made that combo even easier and wow that boy King going up the ladder alright uh, next up is Xiao Yu and Xiao Yu what I learned about Xiao Yu is she's very linear like almost to the point where you could just back up and sidestep and it seemed like they didn't really have answers for a lot of that. Uh, you know, I'm sure that she is well equipped, but she is seeming, you know, fairly underwhelming. Uh, in the new system, I haven't seen anything being presented to me that 
you know, seems like it's abundantly in her favor as concerns the system itself. Uh, I'm not even sure of any real benefits that she gets out of being a uh, being an E. You know, I hadn't really saw him, so you know, maybe I, ha I hadn't played with the character either. Maybe there are some things that maybe I just hadn't came across yet. But a lot of the things that really worked in her favor before, uh, you know, it just seems like because the sidewalking is so good that you don't really have to deal with a lot of that stuff, right? And, you know, her neutral is what she's gonna have to depend on to get you to stay still long enough to make those mistakes. Uh, going into the stance and trying to cheese her way out doesn't seem to be as good as it was in seven. Uh, but, you know, this is still the open beta, uh, sorry, the closed beta. Um, so, and it's like the first three days with the game. People have to develop their tech. Uh, obviously, we don't know what frames are looking like, so people don't really have great frame traps uh, to set up stuff. But just in blind battle, as I call it, uh, she just didn't seem to be very strong, you know. Um, you know, also with your ability to kind of react to a lot of stuff in this particular tech, and uh, it seems like none of it really benefits her all that well. Uh, at least in the matchup against King, uh, he punishes her pretty well. Uh, she can get up under some of his stuff, but for the most part, you know, just using a little bit of movement and good mid poking game, it really kept her from kind of doing what she wanted to do. Uh, another thing that I saw that was also kind of interesting, uh, I, I really didn't see a lot of her moves. I know that she did get a... Uh, in heat, she does get a 50-50 out of her hip hypnotist stance, I believe so it's called, hypnotist. Uh, where she walks to the side with her hands out like that, you know what I'm saying? When she start grazing around you on the side. Uh, she can do a low sweep that I believe knocks down or may even starts a combo. And then she does get the push, hand push. So that can be uh, useful by the wall, at least. I saw a lot of people using that technique. Um, I felt this though when playing her. You know, I've played a lot of Lings also over the years, so it didn't seem really as bad as some of the stuff I've seen work in the past. Um, still interested in seeing what she has to offer. Uh, as you can see, I was steamrolling, all right? I was rolling. I, I had the car in drive. I had pulled the goddamn lever all the way back. I was goddamn. <laughs> Hitting all of the speed bumps. Didn't even care about the shocks. The shock absorbers tore out the frame, okay? Axle breaking in half. Didn't even matter because I was tearing they behinds up. Was not a problem, all right? But you saw the title. Y you know what it is, man. ATL dominating, okay? Dominating the Tekken 8 CNT, all right? I'm not having any issues. You know, got the warrior in an hour, all right? I felt like I might have been the only person at Warrior because there wasn't even nobody there when I got there. All right? Nobody was around. All I know is Ling, she was uh, she was out there struggling. All right? She was out there struggling. Uh, I don't know if it was just the players. could have been the players, but it didn't seem like uh, she was showing me anything. She really wasn't showing me a whole lot. of combo damage wasn't very high. Uh... You know, obviously, we don't have setups because we can't practice setups, but it just seemed like she was struggling a whole lot. Uh, I was thinking maybe she might have like a heat smash from behind that might be like a rage drive, but heat smash is mid, I believe. Um, and it's mid, so you know, I wasn't worried about it. Uh, she just doesn't have a whole lot going for her. You know, maybe I can run into some people on a new test uh, over there on the PC and the Xbox when it comes out. Uh, maybe people will have developed some tech. Maybe they have learned some tech from somewhere else. I run up on them. Maybe I can see what they got going on because at the moment, not very impressed by winning. Now, this next character, this guy, he's a problem, okay? 
I don't know what he doing. All I can tell you is learn the holes. All right, learn the holes. Every large player I played, they all was trying to slide across the screen and do mix-ups, all right? You see this fool here, he just started out with the goddamn slide from across the screen. Went low, hit me, and then did the rage arc. I said, bro, what is this? What is this? You hit me and do the rage arc? And it works. Very strong, very strong. The movement uh, being uh, nerfed a little bit, the back dash being nerfed a little bit, makes it very difficult to like space out his moves. You know, that the dashes just be right in your face. You know what I'm saying? He's just right there in your face. It's real, it's real rough. It's nasty. But um, even throughout all that nasty work, you know, I'm going to come in there and uh, give, him what it, give him what I got. Put the hands on him. Uh, really, I can say is uh, he doesn't seem to be as linear either. Uh, several times I caught myself getting clipped by things, but once again, that's to be determined when we look forward at the uh, actual game coming out. But for right now in the CNT, it seems as though the version of the game that we are playing currently, he doesn't seem as steppable. Yes, he is steppable. Uh, a lot of things in this, are, in this game are very much steppable. But it really seemed like he was doing what he wanted to do at all times. And really, I thought the only thing that really could combat it seemed to be knowing the holes in those transitions. Uh, knowing what moves come out of what. I know a lot of that junk all looks the same. These fools was doing all the moves they could think to do in humanly possible and still you know your boy Mike came out on top don't worry about a thing all right so with that being the case man that's definitely going to end it for us right here and uh y'all know I beat the brakes off of them don't worry about nothing all right don't worry about nothing and so that is going to bring us to our conclusion like I said, great game. Uh, a lot of things that I analyzed while I was playing. I look forward to playing in the future, having more analytics ready for y'all. You don't even know what it's going to be like, but your boy might nasty with it. Grotesque. Uh, look forward. We got two more parts to King Running Wild. Then we're going to drop some more characters um, that I got the opportunity to play with and lay the smack down with. No problem no problem okay um hope you enjoyed yourself i look forward to seeing you all in the future uh dropping more content just like this so make sure that you do what it says right over here okay it's a like subscribe okay make sure you do both you're probably already a subscriber tell your mama to go subscribe okay tell your auntie to subscribe tell your sister to subscribe then call your brother up all right call your daddy up if you know where yet i know if you're from my community, you might not, you know, you might not know where he at. Uh, sometimes I don't know where my dad at. He live up the street. But anyway, don't worry about a thing, all right? Whoever you know, go on and hit him up. Tell your homies about it. Say, hey, that new Tekken 8 coming out. Um, I know this one guy. He, he, he's got really good content. You should go follow him. You know, make sure that y'all do that. Make sure y'all join us over on Twitch. That's M-I-C underscore A-T-L at Twitch, okay? You go ahead and check us out over there. That's where our live streams are. Uh, soon we might start streaming over here on YouTube. Get some super chats. You know, grease the palms a little bit. But all in all, just trying to make sure that you all get some of the best content available. And of course, you know, I'm here to deliver. All right. Without further ado, you know what it is. Realm of the real. Only the real can chill. Peace. I'm back in this bitch and been sick of this shit, so I ride with the medicine. Though heavy, the head of the crown, I never get tired of wearing it. I'm off in your lane with no signal lane, I'm changing the narrative. This figure your neck when I step on it, better be no more.